So I'm going to be using my uh, cherry picker here to lift the head out of this truck. I've got all the bolts removed and I've taken out the uh, push rods. I'm going to go ahead and put, use a piece of wood here to protect the gasket surface. I'm going to pry under the head here and just see if I can get it to gently break. Yeah, there it is. It's coming. It's broken loose. And now I'm just going to see if I can get it to uh, come on out of there. I've just sort of guesstimated the center of balance. I'm not sure how it's going to play out. There are some guide pins in there. You don't want to bend those. So this thing, you know, it's kind of an awkward angle to try and pull it out of there while it's in the engine. So I'm just going to use my cherry picker. And it looks like I guess the uh, balance about right. It's kind of floating above the engine. I was getting no compression on the number eight. So I was interested to pull the head and see if I could figure out why. So once I get it to clear the, the body of the truck and move it on out of the way. Going around over here to take a look. There's a little bit of antifreeze down in there. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum that out. And I'll be checking that out. I'm going to drop the head down here on this uh, follower and take a look at it. From earlier testing, um, I determined it was, you know, I used a smoke generator and I determined that it was leaking through the uh, exhaust valve. So now I'm going to take a, a look at that exhaust valve. See if I can figure it out. I might have to take it to a machine shop and get them to rework it. But it's good to know, uh, if you can, what the issue was. Because uh, now I have the, now that I have it out, I know exactly where to look. Looking for this exhaust valve right here. Yeah, this thing's heavy. I would not want to have to lift that. So I can see the valve is open, and it shouldn't be. It's well open. So that's an easy, uh, easy to see. Exhaust valve is stuck. So taking a close look here, I see. I knew the exhaust valve was leaking due to um, a smoke test that I did earlier, and you can see it's. Looks like it's open very much. And not sure what happened to it. But I'm sure a machine shop can figure it out. I don't see anything wedged in there or anything. I guess it just stuck. But you can see the daylight coming through it. And it should be closed. All, all the valves are closed now. Because, you know, it's the head's out of the car. You can also see on this side how the valve is down. If I put a straight edge on there, you can see that. Steel here, I'm going to put it on, on the valve tops there. 
and you can see that all of them are pretty much lining up and matching except this one right here all the others are uh, e are equal along the length of the steel so that's it the uh, exhaust valve appears to be stuck open I sure wish Jim were here with me today to see this this was his truck also I noticed on this side see it's kind of rolled over there's an edge on that valve where it was uh, it looks like the valve stuck or something so it must be st it must be sticking in that uh, guide or something there's definitely a, a lip on it so probably this rocker here has got to be replaced You can see the light coming through.